I'm heading to Oakland later today to shoot um, the actual first uh, athlete shots of an athlete to athlete uh, coaching app where you're going to, you know, I don't know, like I said, I don't remember if this was on before. It but was off, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. uh, athletes showing other athletes how to be great athletes. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're filming like the most, the 120 most common workouts, warm ups, whatever it may be, so that when coaches go on here to fill their workout, um, if they're a coach or if an athlete goes on there, they can just click from the repository rather than like have to film it themselves or, or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's really important to get an athlete's perspective, but also these athletes are going to be able to monetize their business so well because they're going to work out no matter what. Hmm. Um, so like, how do we capture that? How do we build those programs for you? Um, and that's all moving forward. I think the really cool aspect is every single city in America, in the world, has 100 locally famous athletes that went to that high school, went on to college, did great things, um, and then maybe stopped mm -hmm. because they couldn't go on to the next level or you know professionally didn't make sense financially. And so how can we change the fact that geographically you are not there but you can, there are 10,000, 1,000, whatever the amount of athletes that know about you in that town, you're the on the hall of fame for your high school. Like sure. they definitely know you. Mm -hmm. How can we monetize those athletes? Hmm. It's easy if I put Jerry Rice up on TV or any, you know, insert hall of famer, they're gonna get, they're gonna get athletes to follow their program. But when you hear somebody you haven't heard about, but he's from Bozeman, Montana, and he was the best linebacker to ever come out of Bozeman, people in Bozeman are gonna follow that. Mm. Um, so that's ultimately what we're creating uh, out there. Mm.